everybody that's standing in the way of your devotion to God, moving out the way, tossing aside, don't dwell on it, don't magnify it, because it will steal your praise. And when you want to do what God has called you to do, when you want to get to where his glory is, I declare unto you, you got to step over stuff. You got to walk
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, it's us again. And, oh God, as we come, we first want to ask you to forgive us for anything that we said or done that wasn't like you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And then, God, in those areas, God, where we are weak, we pray that you would strengthen us. That we will not repeat that act again. Oh, God, we bless your name this morning. We thank you, God, for another time that you have enabled us to come together.
thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord. Amen. As our, our Elder Lily kind of gathered herself together. Amen. Amen. She's going to give us some announcements, but we would like to share, amen, that when we exit at the end of the service, when we exit, starting at the back pew, go face the wall and go out, one pew at a time. In other words, do not come down the middle aisle, amen. We're trying to keep it safe, amen, and it is important that you stay abreast as to what is going on. Amen. Amen. With the variant. Amen. Praise God. The number is going up. Amen. We're trusting God, but we got to do what we have to do. Amen. It's called common sense. Amen. Praise God. So please, ma'am, please, sir, exit from the back, starting at the last row. Do not come down the main aisle. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Elder Lily with some brief announcements.
saw Apostle Green and heard her say she was going to put a praise on me. I'm sure she wasn't the only one that had a petition before the Lord that's claiming healing. So I believe in my saved soul. Somebody else that knows you need the healing needs to seal it with a praise. And we as the children of God need to know what 
is it that ails us and causes us to be sick? That we need to run to daddy and get the healing. What's holding you will be put to death. 
What sent it will die too. Thank God. Thank God. Oh. That's all in healing. Because sometimes in healing, something has to die. Here we have another person that wants to persecute the church or Christians. King Herod did this, which gave him favor with the Jews. Just like today, some are only interested in being involved with certain groups or with certain activities, or they're only involved with certain organizations based upon who they have made up in their mind to please or to try and gain favor with or from. Let your amens get low. Just because you have the approval from a group to go against the grain or to go against God does not ever make it okay. Somebody say amen. Because I know it's God's word. But King Herod went forth with it anyways. And he had Peter arrested. He had him jailed. And not only did he have him jailed, but he had him shackled and put between two guards. If you read and do your study, there was like 16 and he strategically had a place that they were working the shifts all around the clock to make sure nobody broke in to get him out and they made sure that he that was in wouldn't break to get him. Because the Jews did not want to embrace or receive what Christ had to offer. Or maybe their lack of understanding for spiritual things. The Jews thought that they were persecuting Peter. But it really had nothing to do with Peter. They was really persecuting God and their disobedience. I said what's holding you is going to be put to death. And what sent it is going to die too. Now think about it, church. Think about how many people have suffered under the hand of a king with a biased attitude. It's quiet. That means I'm right there. Think about how many suffer unfair judgment, unjust treatment from somebody in leadership. They did what they wanted to do because they had the power to do it. I heard them saying, just because I can, don't mean I should. Because to everything, there's a consequence. Now,
to be delivered from? What did he need deliverance? Well, it says here in verse 7, it said, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him in a light shine in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. And verse 11 said, And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I am. Well, let me not read that again. Let me not read that again. <laughs> I'm telling you. But Peter needed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read 11. Go ahead, why not? And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. He needed deliverance from Herod, that king. That's the obvious, because he's locked up. But what else did he really need deliverance from? As we just read, Peter, just like some of us, needed deliverance from expectation. Not only do we need deliverance from expectation, but we need deliverance from the people or the person that has set the expectation. I see a thumbs up in the back. God bless you. They say you can like this. He needed deliverance. We need deliverance from expectation and the people or the person that has sent the expectation. Well, who might that type of person be? Glad you asked me. Sometimes those expectations come from the evil people. It comes from the disobedient people. It comes from the controlling people. See? 
those that have faith this morning, and it's not to stick anybody out. Even during the social distancing. If you in this room have faith, where you sit, if it be you and you choose to do it, I want you to scoot in your seat one inch from where you're sitting. Just one inch. Don't you know you are no longer in the same place? Get done. Yeah. Yeah. 
angel of the Lord led Peter. One thing about it, church folk, the angel will start us off after our deliverance, after we've been delivered from the place of bondage. And he began to lead him. And, and you go back and read it. And then at a certain point, the angel departed from Peter. Because, the, and it don't say, and I'm paraphrasing, the angel knew at this point Peter had it. Sometimes we rely on other things and other people and other stuff. But we have to realize who we are and what we have inside of us. Because sometimes, this is why the devil try and trick our mind. Because if we suffer with identity issues, then you'll never know who the real you really is. Let me jump ahead now if I can wrap up. 
so we can go home, I guess. So Herod was angry. Uh, he was hot.
because of the embarrassment he was. So it really wasn't about them, it was really about his self. Yourself. 
don't matter how big or how small.
is quiet as a church mouse. Let the word cook, get healed. Thank you. 
in his spirit. Because he loves you. Because he loves you. There are no mistakes in saying yes to God. Thank you. 